hi everyone welcome back to my channel so in this video I'm gonna show you all and how to make the perfect Jamaican rice and peas yes but for this recipe I am gonna use canned peas yes I have a video on my channel and how I do the authentic way you guys can go and check it out but trust me this right here are gonna be super delicious and so flavorful and it's gonna taste also authentic so please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also do share it thank you all so much in advance and stay tuned for the video so these are all of my ingredients as you can all see I'm gonna start off with my rice I'm using three cups of my basmati rice I love basmati rice that's the reason why I'm using it you can use any rice of your choice you can use brown rice jasmine rice long grain rice as I said any rice all right but guys make sure that you have all your fresh ingredients this is at least over one stalk of my scallion, three cloves of garlic, ginger, you don't need a lot of ginger, just a little bit, my scotch bonnet pepper, I'm using the green and the red, I'm being a bit extra, normally you use one, but I choose to use two, and fresh thyme, at least over two tablespoons of my fresh thyme, alright? And at least over one teaspoon of my pimento seed, otherwise as all spice, alright? This also is a must. You can get it from any Caribbean shop or even online. It's everywhere, okay? And seasoning, all-purpose seasoning, at least two teaspoons and one teaspoon of salt. I'm using two can of my red kidney beans, all right? Yes, two can I'm using. This is it right here. nice and rich i love this kidney peas so my pot is now on my stove and to my pot i'm gonna add at least one cup of water yeah that's it try not to add too much then i'm gonna add my canned peas so now that i add my canned peas I'm gonna add my fresh thyme that is already washed. My scallion. I remember my grandmother growing up in Jamaica. My grandmother used to squeeze. I used to see my family squeeze the scallion. So all the juice come right out. Yes. Yes, squeeze it right out. Then I'm gonna add my garlic. Make sure that you crush your garlic. Yeah, I crush up mine. And the ginger also. Yeah. Also add in my scotch bonnet pepper. Do not burst your scotch bonnet pepper. Now I'm gonna add my pimento seed that I crush. Smell all that flavor already. And my all-purpose seasoning with the salt. I'm gonna off cover it up for at least 10 minutes. So just after 10 minutes, let me remove the lid. It has come to a boil. Yes. My stove is on a medium heat. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add my coconut milk. Make sure that you shake the can before you add it. I'm gonna also add some butter. I add at least over one spoon of my butter. Yeah. I'm gonna leave it for at least five minutes, okay? Yeah, so now after five minutes, I'm gonna check back on my peas, look like. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add my rice. If it's too much liquid, you can always remove some of the liquid. I'm gonna remove just a little bit of my liquid. Yeah, 
yeah so that's fine now I'm gonna cover it up make sure the stove is on a low heat so my rice and peas is all finished look at that I'm gonna take a fork it's nice and shelly you can just put the pepper them to the side Here I have some chicken wings right here, some honey barbecue chicken wings with some cucumber and tomato. What I'm gonna do, I put my rice in here, so I'm gonna put it on the plate. I have my barbecue on a sauce. Put it right here so. I'm gonna take my time and just lift it up. So this is how I make my Jamaican rice and peas using canned peas. Yeah? Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and also do subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can receive more amazing, delicious recipes like these. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, bye and do enjoy.